Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Oh, oh, fuck yeah! It's Bruise Day Tuesday time with Drez and Huck. I figured this big bottle might give me a little trouble. Didn't, though. A little bit. It took me like three tries. Oh, it took you a couple tries? A couple tries. The caps are a little bigger, aren't they? Yeah, they are a little bit bigger. It is Bruce Day Tuesday. It is Drez, and it is Huck, and it is a holiday hangover sort of a show. Yeah, well, we're pretending it's still Christmas there around the hill. I mean, well, it kind of bleeds for a little bit. Although, I don't know. I mean, back the fact that you know you had yesterday off, but now it's like back to the work week. But it's a short week because yeah, we've got New Year's off, coming too, up. But i got to work some. Well, week. must be nice. It but, is uh, nice, yes. Well, we are back, and yes, uh, the holiday continues. Oh, gee, <laughs> nice pour there, Huck. Uh, the holiday continues because there are, there, we're talking about there's so many damn Christmas beers. Yeah. We really, we've turned it into the 12 beers of Christmas because we're doing three shows of it, and right. we're drinking, well, I guess it's even going to be more than 12 beers. On this, yeah, at this next segment. Because we're special. Doing something special in the next one. But for now, we, uh, we pop something else that's kind of special. You handed me this big badass bottle. This is like wine bottle size status over here. Uh, from the brewery, you gave me 10 Lords of Leapin', which is a dark imperial wit ale brewed with spices. This sounds like it'll be pretty damn good. It should be. I mean, most of their beers are really tasty. I have here an Abbey Ale, St. Barnabas Christmas Ale, which is, you know, it's pretty much a go-to for Christmas ales, the Barnabas. And uh, it's from Belgium, and of course, it was, uh, you know, Belgians are known to be a lot of, uh, of uh, carbonation, and this one's got a head. Bigger than mine. Well, I'm, I don't know if I poured mine funky, but mine's pretty uh, pretty heady as well yeah. over here with the Ten Lords that are leaping. Maybe we didn't run them properly through the dish machine. <laughs> yeah. <'cause laughs> Around we... my house, when you load the dishwasher, you just give her a glass of wine. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. Fortunately, she doesn't listen to the show, so I'm safe to say that. You're good to go. This uh, one's 10% alcohol by volume. That's a good question. Now, this one I did not see, but it did say Imperial, which leads me to believe it's probably, yes, a hearty 10.5. There you go. That's the thing, man. Christmas beers, one, they're great because tis the season. You're in a good mood anyways. You're just, you know, you're feeling good. It's a good time of year. Hopefully you got some, some days off work. You're going to see the family and stuff. And then, so the beers already taste better because it's that time of year. You add in the fact that they generally do taste better. They're fun spices. They always usually do stuff that's unique with them. And then they're usually a high ABV. You put them all together, man. It's it's a pretty good combo. It's like Christmas. It's not <laughs> Christmas. It's like Christmas. So I was looking on here. This bottle's mm. got this thing. It says Belgium Family Brewers. It looks like they got a little tag, like, you know, uh, certified craft. You know, that thing the Brewers Association came on. It looks like the Belgian Brewers have said, hey, we're not fake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There you go. All right, fantastic. So I guess I, I guess I, 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 we have to. I have to ask the question: How was your Christmas? Did you get everything on your Christmas list? Oh yeah, I always buy Santa's, my own stuff. I was gonna say Santa was good to you. You are your own Santa, aren't you? Yeah, we do this thing. We uh, we each buy what we want, but don't tell each other, and then we wrap it up. And then oh. when Liz opens a present, I'm just shocked at how thoughtful I was. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was actually at at Whitney's graduation party. We touched on that. She's like, it's impossible to shop for him because he's one of those guys that just. Whenever he wants something, he's going to buy it. So yeah. you can't, you know, you have to be super thoughtful to get it, come up with anything for well, you. Well, you know, you want to buy me a bottle of Woodford. You know, I'm probably okay with that. Hence me giving you bourbon. Yes. See, I, I haven't cracked I, it yet. I'm I know, I it. know you so well. Yeah, that's. Let me know how that is. I, I have not tried that uh, that bird dog yet. So all right, maybe we should crack it when we're watching that. When uh, we're watching that, um. How beer say the universe? You still haven't watched that yet. No, right? You I said you weren't going to watch that without me. I, I think I lost it already. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. I think it's on my desk somewhere, but that that could be lost for a while. It probably will. I be. had a set of wireless headphones. I lost it back in September. I just found them today, this morning, on my desk. They never probably moved. I just found them. They're yeah. really small with one little wire between them. Yeah, it's not like there's a lot to them. Yeah, I know. You tend to lose things, don't you? I like? do. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty haphazard. I forget things. Usually when I leave in the morning, I go back to the house three times. So our, uh, you know, it might be too early to talk about this, but our next show will be in 2018. That's right. Um, so uh, We had some ideas. We do have some ideas. You know, 
Um, we were ta- talking about going negative, but I don't think we could do that. I think we'll probably just go continue our positive trek. Going negative? Beer. Yeah, talking about how you can't get good beer anymore. Oh, yeah, you were t- going to talk about it. But I don't know. You may that. wait till like, you know, <coughs> when you're even sadder in the deep dark. Well, I guess the real, qu- I guess the real question is, is you were... You were going to be brewing some beer. Do you think that will be ready next week? Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it is. So we're going to be good for that? Yeah, I think we're going to Okay, good. sweet. So we'll do that brewed, the brewed beer. And then we got a little half a show guy uh, we can do. Yeah, the other guy um, from Bouse Point yeah. might be coming in, too. Yeah. All right, I, I don't, we don't need to. We may split whatever. it up a little bit. We'll figure that out later, not on the air. How about we talk about some of this? What are you going to do for New Year's, though? So well, we're not that be would here. be that would be the New Year's show. So we're not going to be here before New Year's. But that's New what I'm saying. What's that's the plans? New Year's show. Oh, like New. Year. Well, we'll talk about that later. Let's right. untap these beers. All right. You got uh, what do you got over there? Uh, it's Say, nice and dark, and it's the St. Barnabas Christmas Ale Abbey Ale. You know, it tastes like an Abbey Ale. It's nice and dark and tasty. You know, I think I I get you know I give this a high score just because it's Belgium and. Good. It's a little sweet, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So, you know, four, four and a half. I think it's clean four and a half. Four and a half. They've been making this stuff for like 2,000 years. Sounds about right. You know, you know uh, so over here with the brewery, now this is interesting because I know we had the brewery on uh, just, a, what, a couple, a couple, a couple weeks yeah. ago? But yeah. recently it was yeah, it was, a it was a, the barley wine, wasn't it? Was, was that from right. the brewery? That was from the brewery. And I had that one because you drank it on the show. I had it later. And I was not that impressed with it. And I didn't know if it was because it had been sitting a while and maybe got warm on me, but it seems like a barley wine. You should yeah, be able to drink one. Yeah, it should be fine, warm, yeah. Um, same sort of thing. Not, not exactly the same sort of thing, but the, you know, when you read this label, Ten Lords of Leaven, Dark Imperial Wit Ale, brewed with spices, 10.5%. Like To me, that sounds like this should be the best beer ever. And it's just not quite as amazing as I thought it would be. So it's not a five. I was thinking when I looked at this label in the bottle, it might be a five we're looking at here. But, I mean... It does have it does have what you're looking for, I suppose, but it's not not wowing me. Hang well, on. If you think about the styles we like, you know, uh, Christmas beer is not really going to stand out in what we like. Yeah. Well, this is pretty good. It's smoother than you would think for ten point five percent. And as far as a, what well, I mean, it's a, it says it's a dark imperial wit ale. To me, a wit ale usually they're you know light. What what do you think they're doing to make this dark? Well, first of all, it's imperial, so I mean, you know, there it's and a lot of times they add other grains to it. I didn't look at the bottle that closely, but it could be that they've added grains, darker grains. That's usually how it, it becomes that color, crystal, not crystal meth, but crystal grains. <laughs> little, all right, well, here's a, it says uh, it says uh, was, wasa wasil is known for warmth and spices. Our edition goes leaps and bounds beyond a traditional winter warmer. Drawing inspiration from the dark spiced ales from Belgium and our love for experimental brewing in SoCal. Oh, SoCal. Mm-hmm. Man, these guys are hip. This dark <laughs> imperial wit ale features 10 different spices, hence the name, I suppose, which uh, complement the spice n- spiced notes imparted from the yeast and prance upon the rich, dark, fruited character of the specialty malts. Well, see, they're known for putting fruits in the beer, so maybe the darkness comes from plums or something they put in there. That would make some sense. Up. I mean, they, they're and, known for that. That's and I'm really do. not crabbing on this. Actually, is pretty. I mean, this is good. It's a four point five. Yeah. I just, to me, I was thinking it could be a five status. Well, when I bought it, I thought it could be a five. Five yeah. status. Well, you, and you yeah. might your your opinion might vary right. when you try it here in a little bit. Your mileage might um, vary. Now, here's the question: It's after Christmas. Should we play a Christmas song or should we? Is that dead? I mean, I'm not scheduling Christmas music anymore. I'm not haven't really been playing it, but I might be able to squeak I mean, one more if in if you could, got one that you really like. You, you know, it's or like, are you are you burn no, out? I actually are have, you burn actually out I have on one it? I really like. Are you burn out on them? No, yet? I You're love not? them. I listen. To, I, you know, I start like whenever they come on. I listen. Which one you got in mind? Well, I was thinking of I am Santa. The Bob, the Bob Rivers <laughs> one. That is a good one. All right, one more time. One last time for twenty for twenty seventeen. Because I am Santa Claus. This will be our final Christmas tune, and there we'll come back go. and we'll drink some more. Uh, oh, actually, we got something pretty pretty cool. Pretty interesting. We're gonna do song. something different. I don't think a we've little, done this before. I don't. I, I believe you're correct. So stick around for something new on Bruce Day Tuesday after this.